Yo, it's the kid Joseph Badman, a.k.a. Joey Badass, and we down here at SOB's with my man Destroy from Left Under Ten. And I got one question, man. Who left this man under tender, yo? It's Joey Badass, son. Yo, it's Joey Badass, son. What up, party animals, Paul Saws, and midget wrestlers? Welcome to another episode of Left Under Tended. I'm your host, Juice Box. And whoa, 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 my man. Get out of here, B. Go hug a rat. Welcome to Left Unattended, my name is Destroy, and drugs say no to me. I try to convince drugs to say yes, but they thought I might hurt its reputation. Do you think weed, cocaine, and molly would be where they are today if it wasn't for music? Drugs are so prominent in songwriting that anyone who spends over $10 at Guitar Center gets a complimentary dime bag. Be careful though, there's a thin white line between going platinum and becoming a hologram at Coachella. Weed rap is thriving as the cinnamon stick from the Apple Jacks box Wiz Khalifa celebrates token on that wacky tobacco. The 40 and the blunt era has transitioned into syrup and pills as someone from designer clothes to designer drugs. Fun fact, the word heroin means brave woman with hero-like qualities. Drop the E and that's what's inside Lindsay Lohan. More fun facts. Lil Wayne fell off his skateboard, and upon searching his jeggings, cops found 105 grams of weed, 29 grams of cocaine, and 41 grams of molly. The coma having rapper might have suffered from a seizure, but he came to with his addiction to codeine intact. Former blah bombshell Eminem suffered an addiction, but it wasn't something he celebrated. Rick Ross, on the other hand, he rapped that he secretly put a molly in a girl's champagne to have sex with her. Mr. One Trap Wonder, French Montana, chose a name inspired by Scarface, Tony Montana. Come on, son. He mentioned more drugs in his songs than an episode of Dr. Oz. I see DMX on that show speaking fluent drug addict. Drugs are so common in this industry that even my own parents don't believe that I never experimented. Like they had nothing to do with how I was raised. They were wildin'. Jay-Z made more money off of talking about selling drugs than actually selling drugs. He'd have to hit the street for a year if he'd want to come out with another album. Unfortunately, not everyone knows rule number four of B.I.G.'s 10 Crack Commandments. Never get high on your own. You know the rest, you hood rat. It's okay that T-Pain OD'd on auto-tunes. But when it comes to drugs, it was too late for some of these gifted artists. Some successful musicians might even say that drugs inspired them to write. And to those I say, keep it to yourself, homie, and go choke on a Flintstone vitamin. So I ask you, my left unattended homies, which artists are overdosing on lyrical content about drugs, and which celebrities would you like to see bounce back? Leave your comments below. Till next time, your brain on drugs probably looks the same after listening to Chief Keef. Yao Ming. Joey Badass. Joey, is drugs super relevant in music or, you know, what's, what's the role it plays? I mean, my opinion is to each his own. But, um, like, you know, me, I, I'm not a fan of the, the, you know, the drug abuse and, and, and things like that. You know, I'd, I'd encourage you not to go there, you yeah. know. But, um, you know, like I said, to each his own. You know, some people think it really enhances them creative, creatively and mm -hmm. things like that. So that's how I look at it. What do you recommend? What do you, you know, what you want to put the people on to? I want to put them on to that Before the Money Man, and that's my debut album, which is coming soon. 50,000 mixtapes, finally. <laughs> Actually, been three, but yeah, yeah, yeah. 50,000, baby. My mother album, collects man. all your Nah, 50,000 bars, definitely, but you know, just three mixtapes. What do you do when you're left unattended? Read. Read a book, read a newspaper, read anything, man. I like to. I got a thirst for knowledge, so you know whatever I can access at the moment. Is there like a particular site you like you check for information or what type of stuff? Politics, sports. Yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. Um, actually, there's a site called MyComeUp.com, and what it is is like it's like a it's like Twitter and Facebook for like entrepreneurs. You know, it's just like you know all day down your feet is just like you know a lot of motivational shit, inspirational things to keep you going and keep you thinking. So, yeah. There you go. Beatbox time. Make the music time. He's going to beatbox something. We're going to figure out what it is. Let's go. This might be a little left. But here it goes. 
Genuine? Mm, there you go. I know, but that that's that's good. That's outside the box. And there you have it. Make the music, Joey Badass, Crayolo Time. Here you go. I want you to do your favorite album cover. You gotta draw, you can have a seat. Let's get comfortable, you know. We got a dude with a with a sexy gumby. Or maybe it's a potato. <laughs> Look at that face! That's it? That's the cover? Okay, so you're gonna have to give me a hint. Ah, he's a baby boy. Okay, so this is Biggie. There you go, ready to die. <laughs> there you go. I should have definitely got that one. But you did more of a flat top than an afro. Joey Badass tagged that right there in the bottom, man. Or in the top. Notorious B.I.G. Ready to die by none other than Joey Badass. Here you go. Thank you so much, Party Animals, Porn Stars, and Midget Wrestlers for hanging out on Left Unintended. My name is Destroy, man. Tell your friends, your buddies, whatever you gotta do, spread the word. I appreciate it. Success and nothing less. I love you. Where's that intern at so I can kick his mouth? <laughs>